Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronnie Watts and today I'm going to be talking to you about my brand new EP, I Don't Trust You at All. Um, I'm super excited about this EP, it just came out a couple weeks ago, so it's a brand new little baby, even though I've had these songs for a while now. Um, but yeah, it, it means a lot to me, it's a special EP to me, and I'm so happy that it's out in the world and people can listen to it. Um, so I started writing these songs uh, over a year ago now. I, mostly all these songs come from summer of 2019. Uh, I had lots to write about then. Um, basically that year was designated for me to just write, like experience life and write about it. Um, and that's where basically all my songs come from are like just myself and my experiences and the people around me. That's how I get inspired to write songs. Um, and I definitely, I definitely ended up having lots to write about, so it kind of worked out. Um, the guy that I was dating at the time, uh, he, I don't know, just really, really blindsiding me. I went to visit him and he didn't pick me up from the train station and he had met someone else. Uh, I later found out. And that was kind of just that. It was, it was weird and sad and frustrating and lots of, there are lots of emotions um but I'm really happy it happened because I got these songs out of it and when I was writing these songs I didn't realize that they'd be on an EP or even out in the world someday um I kind of just wrote them because I needed to that's just kind of my emotional outlet is to write songs and I feel like that's where my best songs come from are the ones where it's just like I need to get this down and not like someone just telling me I have to write a song um most of these songs were just written in my bedroom at like midnight on a guitar um just like by myself being like sad and angsty and stuff so uh which is which is how a lot of my songs are written and it's weird because people ask me about my writing process a lot and it's hard because it just comes it's more of a just a natural thing for me and honestly there's lots of songs that i can't even remember writing because it's just such an out-of-body experience and such like, I don't know how to explain it, just like a flow through my body that I just don't, I don't think about it. And I don't really like recall, remember, like how did I, how did I come up with those lyrics? Like looking back on songs, I'm, I don't know how I came up with that, um, which is kind of funny. But I do keep uh, voice memos with all my melody ideas. I have like thousands of voice memos and then I have, I use the notes app on my phone to write down all my lyrics so any like word that pops into my head any phrase that pops in my head doesn't even have to like be a full put together verse it's just kind of like anything that could maybe inspire me later I write down um, and that helps me a lot when I go and sit down and write um, the recording process for this was really interesting once we found out like okay I had all these songs that I had written from from last year and we had to narrow it down from like 60 to 6 um it was wild it was really hard <laughs> and uh so once we narrowed that down i was in new york city uh working with this producer harper james on the ep and he's amazing um i was there in march so it was right before the corona hit and we worked on sad summer we got that finished uh, so now when I hear it's Sad Summer, it just brings me back to being in Central Park, just listening to Sad Summer in my earphones, like 20 times in, the, in a row, just trying to figure out, okay, we need to change this, we need to add this. Um, so that was really fun. And then I was supposed to be there for a couple more weeks, but then when the pandemic happened, I had to go home early, so then we started working on the project remotely. Um, and it, it made it more just like, okay, we're not we're not having fun and chilling like this is what we have to do we have to add this we have to change this we have to like it was more just like very structured and to the point um but we got it done we did it we, it was like it was it was an interesting experience and it was a good experience and obviously we had to adjust really quickly to things um but it was a great time and i'm so happy with how it turned out um yeah, I don't know. It means a lot to me. I just want people to listen to the EP and, like, have it give them some comfort. Um, 
I don't want to say I hope they relate to it because I don't want people being like sad but if they do relate to it I hope that it helps them um, and makes them feel like they're not alone and that's why that's why I do music is is to connect with people and help people that's why I do what I do so um, yeah if you haven't already make sure to check out my EP I don't trust you at all um, you can follow me on Instagram at Ronnie Sings, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!